Wait. Is that Hell House giving you absolute hell? Well, we're going to show you how to smash your way to victory. Who loves games? Yes, mate. One of the keys to this battle is to watch the colour of the windows and we're going to use opposing damage. So where the windows are on fire, we're going to need to use ice material elemental damage to oppose that and that will get the critical, much higher damage hits. When it goes to ice, then use fire against this. Also then, look at the same when the house changes to electric, oppose that with air and aero attacks. When the house then changes green, Use electric attacks on that, and that is going to really help. So, I'll be honest, this fight is actually really difficult and the first time I found a challenge, but I'd recommend with Cloud, start off with your barrier material and put a mana ward onto yourself to help resist the incoming elemental damage. Get that ATB up, put the same spell onto Aerith, then you've both got the same protection. Now, you're going to really need to work at this to get through this Hell House fight. If you cast the Arcane Ward on yourself uh, as Aerith or onto Cloud, you'll allow yourself to double cast. You're going to get that stagger up much faster. So the first phase of the fight you can get through fairly quickly. Uh, then you're going to have to just really be on the lookout because the house really charges in a lot harder. It will swallow you up. You're going to need to keep a check on your health for that healing. So keep moving, keep an eye on it, and look for the right times to strike and the right times to dodge out the way. And just watch the health, get the heal on, get the raise on. Just keep yourself alive and keep a lookout on that house and get out the way. Some of these damages are big, they burn, and they're really heavy hitting. You can use Aerith to cast from a distance when it's hiding, and that's all good, but avoid those incoming raining fires. Watch out for those dives because when that house comes down it comes in hard. Now the house will then start using these protect spells and you'll see your physical attacks really don't do that much to it at all. And it's just going to really, really be a hard time for you. So you want to try and focus on using Aerith, charge up those ATBs. You see now we're using electric, the, the windows were blue. So you could oppose that with an aero elemental attack. Or at the same time if the windows are on fire, hit it with ice. Um, go for your summon, try to use that with the right element to oppose the colour of the windows at the time. But obviously that, that battle with the summon is going to last for a little while. Hopefully that will help you get the stagger up. You can really then just hit in some physical damage, hit in any elemental damage. Just really, really try and make use of that window. Try to make sure you've got ether so you've got enough MP to actually be able to cast. Or like I did here, you kind of... I found but I lost that window to really maximise the damage so I was having to use my ATB to give myself some magic points to heal rather than actually do the damage when it really really counts. So here you go, we're on fire, I wanted to cast some ice, you can really really extinguish those flames. We're going to go near the final stage of the battle, you're going to get more raining fire to really dodge out of the way and now the house is going to slam in and the damage is going to be really, really high, so you really need to heal even more as you get towards the end stages of the battle. Watch out for these explosions, try not to run into the fire where you're really going to take some serious damage right there. You can use the Arcane to cast across to the other character, so I'll sometimes cast it over to Cloud if he's going to be in a position where he's further away and he's got the right elemental magic that I want to cast over to oppose the colour of the windows. You're going to get eaten up a lot, it is going to happen, so just make sure you can use that window to deliver some damage, but be sure and be ready to heal the character when they come back out because it could make the difference between success or failure. The house is going to get flying around the arena, sending all kinds of um, rain of fire down. Then the barrier is going to go up even more towards the end. Just keep up the dodging, the healing, keep up the damage. You'll get right near the end of the battle that way. And hopefully you can really close it down without getting the game over. Deliver that physical damage when it's vulnerable. Just keep going. You've just got to keep plugging at it and eventually you will succeed. It's going to be a big moment, some great cutscenes. The crowd is going to be cheering for you. Check that out, that's just epic.
celebrations. It's a big time. It was one of the hardest battles that I first overcame in the game. Cloud and Aerith are going to be happy. It's a big moment. Let's go for the high five. Yes, mate. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit that subscribe button because we'll have lots more Final Fantasy and tutorial content coming your way soon. Yes, mate.